Cookie Swirl, see? <laughs> Hey, you guys! You guys really liked how my adorable little custom donut sprinkle inspired shark turned out, so we're gonna go ahead and continue with some more DIYs. So I'm going to open up this blind bag and we will customize this little LPS pet. So let's go ahead and cut, 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 and see who's on the inside. Who is it? Woo! All right, we have a big, beautiful whale. Oh, she's so adorable. She's super cute, but we are gonna be customizing you. My gosh, she's gonna look like this yummy, delicious pink cake with these cute, adorable little pastel sprinkles and the vanilla cake on the inside. Oh my goodness, I can hardly wait. Oh, we're twins. Okay, it'll be okay, you'll be fine. You don't always have to be twins. Oh, but you look just like me. Trust me, you're gonna love her once she's completely customized. So say goodbye to each other. Bye. Okay, cool. So let's get customizing with this girl. To customize her, I'm going to remove some of her markings. So she's got this awesome paint splash right here with some cute little hearts on her body. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So I've got my Q-tip here and I've got some nail polish remover. Just wipe them off. It'll just kind of provide like a smooth canvas for us to work with. Let's even wipe off her little information thingy there and even the LPS logo. <gasps> no, not the LPS logo. Just like that. Okay, here she is. She is totally, totally naked. Oh my gosh, we could almost get confused on what set she's from. But nope, now we're going to paint her so she'll be from the cookie set. <laughs> okay, so here she is. I'm gonna put my water over here. Ah! change it out. Bing! There we go. Much better. Even though you can see I do a lot of painting. We are going to get started with her. So I got my little paintbrush. Yes, check. And I've got my paint. We are going to thing paint. Yes, we are. Give it a little shake. So I'm going to open up my cap like that. I'm going to dip my paint in there. I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the water. So it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to start. Oh, see, look, I started giving her sprinkles already. Okay, I'm kidding. We're not really going to paint her like that. Ooh, but I guess we could pretend what we're going to paint her like. So we're just going to paint all the way around her. And see, this is not smooth enough. you got to keep it really, really smooth. I don't want to see any paint strokes at all. None. So just keep on painting her. Oh, look at her little face, her little half a face. Oh, she's so super cute. And don't forget to get through the little blowhole. <sighs> she wouldn't have been able to breathe. There we go. Okay, so keep on painting, keep on painting, keep on painting. Just be really careful around those eyes. Just real careful, real careful. You just want to take your time. Take your time around those eyes. Oh, my, what big eyes you have. Just nice and smooth. Okay, so we're gonna keep going all the way around, all the way around, and we'll paint our very first layer on her. So keep on going, keep on going, even in the mouth. All right, there is our first coat right here. She looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to put another coat on. We will take our paintbrush, dip it, dip it, dip it in some water. Keep on going, woohoo. Ooh, it's looking real good on her now. Oh. This looks perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we'll paint and then we'll let her dry. Okay, now it's time for the fun stuff. Our whale is all completely painted. As you can see, she's pink all over the place. So now we're gonna be able to put the sprinkles on, yay! So I've got my colors. As you can see, there's blue, there's some white, there's some pink, there's some yellow, there's some orange, and there's some green. So what? let's get started with that. This time what I'm gonna do to create the beautiful little sprinkles is I'm going to take a toothpick like this and I'm actually gonna cut it just a tiny bit. There we go, so the edge of it is just a little bit more dull. Okay, so then now all I have to do is just dip it into the paint like this. So now we are ready to paint our beautiful little sprinkles on our whale. So ready, set, let's go. So one here, maybe one there. And just for the fun of it, let's go on her tail too. So flip her over and... Awesome! Cool, so let's just keep adding more and more colors on. Okay, our 
our little adorable whale looks so absolutely adorable. Look at that little sprinkle. Okay, she's looking really, really cute. So now that we know what the top of the cake looks like, because she's been completely sprinkled and frosted, let's add some details to her underside here. So I'm going to take my vanilla, because I'm imagining she has a vanilla cake on the inside. So I'm going to take some paint on my brush, and we're just going to paint the underside of her. So just by adding just a little bit of some detail, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to pet down just like that. Bunch of strokes down. And again, this is just for fun details. So I would go all the way up at least like that. Do, do, do. Make sure you get her on both sides and keep them even. Straight down and even. Oh, isn't she absolutely adorable with her underside painted? Okay, so let's keep painting the whole underside of her belly here. I think usually Hasbro goes around this part, but we're just actually going to paint it. Why the heck not? Do, 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 all the way around like this. And just kind of follow her body all the way up like that. So there's her whole vanilla yummy underside. As you can see a little bit of her tail there. And so we'll just add a few more coats whenever she's ready. And that will be it. And she's going to be absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our adorable whale is just about done. Woo! So she's all dry underneath her little chinny chin chin. And she looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Okay, so now we just have to finish up her eyes. So as you can see, there's some touch-up area that definitely needs to happen in her eyes, like right here. Definitely, there's some overlap of some paint that you can almost just pick off, but we'll just paint over it. And then also, she needs eyelashes. You can't even tell it's a girl. Let's go ahead and give her some lashes. I was looking at my LPS, and one of the ones that I really like are these lashes right here on this dog. This dog has two really thick, pretty lashes. Remember, our whale originally had lashes like this, had three of them. So instead, we're just going to do two. I believe. And we're also going to put back this little black mark that's right here that was originally there. As you can see, it's not there anymore. So I'll turn her around. Oh, wait, no. It's still on this side, but it's not on this side. So we're going to put that black mark back, and then we're just going to paint some lashes on. I have a really, really sharp paintbrush here. To put the black back on, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fix the edges. As you can see, it's just a little bit, just it's not as clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and just paint with my brush and make the edge nice and clean. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of follow the line all the way down. So I'm going to paint like this and then just kind of go all the way around. See how I just kind of brought the line down like that? So let's see. Yeah, that looks about right with level with that eye. Maybe it could go down a little bit more. So let's just pull it down just a touch more. Okay, good. So now we added her eye in there. So now she's got an eye here. And she's got an eye here. She's got an eye here. She's got an eye here. Okay, so let's touch up some of this little black area here. So same thing. I'm just going to go all the way around her eye. And it just cleans it up. So you see that little area here? Just looks a lot better. So now her eye just looks clean and pretty. Okay, cool. So now let's start adding in her little eyelashes now. Now that she has her eye back on, we're going to add the eyelashes. And we're going to use this one as our example. Okay, so those are nice and thick little lashes there. So, so I'm going to turn her this way, and I'm going to just basically go up right here, or right where the little blue is. So whoop. So there's her cute little adorable eyelash. So now we're going to put it on the other side as well. Oh my goodness, you guys! Look at how cute the whale looks! Woo! She looks so adorable! So now I have her adorable little lashes. She's got her little underside here. So really, I think the only last minute thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put some glitter on her here. Oh, also another step that I did as well is you're going to want to coat her in some clear glaze. So I have this glaze right here. This is DuraClear and I use the matte varnish. And so you just make sure you shake it up really good. And I just painted one coat on her and that just helps protect the paint. That's all. So now I'm going to take some of this glitter paint that I have here. And I think just for an extra cute touch, let's just add some glitter to her. We'll take a little bit of some glitter on the brush. Nice and easy on her. Aw, look at all that glitter. It looks like sugar. Aw, that's so cute on her. See her little sugary tail? Oh, she looks so cute. Okay, so here we go. Sugars, sugar rush. Oh my gosh, sugar rush. She is a super, super frosted little cake girl now. 
So now she's got her layer of glitter. Yay, she's so cute. So we'll let her dry. And then like I said, we're gonna put a layer of this matte varnish on her and then she will be totally, totally done. All right, are you ready to see her? Come on in. Ah, here she is, look at how adorable and cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so her glitter is all dry now on her and look at how beautiful she looks. She looks absolutely adorable. Here she is on this side right here. Woohoo! She knows she looks so good. So she's so adorable. So there you go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in my next video. Who knows what type of pet we're going to be customizing next? Oh my goodness, it's such a surprise. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye, cookie fans. Wow, you just look so cool. Just, just so cool. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Uh, wow, I, uh, I, I love your glitter. Wait, thank you. Is that weird for my little pony to have crush on a whale? <laughs> it's cookie shout out time! I want to give a cookie shout out to LPS Paws. <laughs> you are a cookie fan. All right, guys, check out my next video where I give my next shout out. It could be you. Hey, Cookie fans. Hope you're having a whale of a time here. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. You are a true Cookie fan. Put the word pink frosting in the comment section. Bye, guys. Wait. Cookie swirl. See? <laughs> hey, you guys. You guys really liked how my adorable little custom donut sprinkle inspired shark turned out. So we're going to go ahead and continue with some more DIYs. So I'm going to open up this blind bag and we will customize this little LPS pet. So let's go ahead and cut, 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 and see who's on the inside. Who is it? Woo! All right, we have a big, beautiful whale. Oh, she's so adorable. She's super cute, but we are gonna be customizing you. My gosh, she's gonna look like this yummy, delicious pink cake with these cute, adorable little pastel sprinkles and the vanilla cake on the inside. Oh my goodness, I can hardly wait. Oh, we're twins. Okay, it'll be okay. You'll be fine. You don't always have to be twins. Oh, but you look just like me. Trust me, you're gonna love her once she's completely customized. So say goodbye to each other. Bye. Okay, cool. So let's get customizing with this girl. To customize her, I'm going to remove some of her markings. So she's got this awesome paint splash right here with some cute little hearts on her body. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So I've got my Q-tip here.